Welcome to Trading Zone, FX Brawler here. In this video, we're going to see a day trade that I just took um, a few hours ago, and I want to explain the logic behind it. And it's the, uh, I'm going to put this one in the YCOV uh, trading method series that I have. I think this is going to be the eighth or the ninth video on this subject. And I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I didn't have a lot of examples of distribution uh, trades. So I thought this would be um, a good one to add to the collection. So basically, I was looking for, as always, I'm always looking for setups on uh, weekly, daily and four hour charts. And um, I was uh, paying close attention to silver and gold uh, recently. And I think um, it's going to be one of the biggest bull runs we've seen uh, in many, many years in that uh, field. But it doesn't mean that I want to expose my equity, my long positions to wide swings if I if I see that there's a selling opportunity or at least a cash out opportunity to step on the sideline, reevaluate and then try to find a better entry. So I want to explain to you exactly what uh, occurred in my head and what I was doing as always, I always trace uh, trend lines to um, with uh, previous highs and previous lows. And um, what I saw in silver after the last big um, bull run that we saw here, uh, we've been uh, retracing and, and consolidating and, it, and it's very possible that it will go lower. Um, to, because um, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I bought in this zone and this zone and in this zone and um, through uh, stocks actually. And I haven't sold my stocks, but I did uh, take some leverage position in here um, with CFDs and, and um, I got out of those uh, in, the, um, in the high range over here because I was um, I was concerned of the fact that the the trade went way too high way too fast the um, the price I mean so so that's always a concern because whenever you see a hockey stick then there's got to be something that gives uh, before the uh, trade resumes because it, it's basically trading on fumes so it needs to gather some new buyers and, and, and for that, it needs to give a good price for people to get in. Otherwise, they look at the price and they say, you know what, this is too expensive for me. I'll let this one go. But if the market pulls back enough, then people are willing again to start buying. Um, and there's a bunch of opportunities in these patterns that are very complex. It's a good way. If you're not a good trader, if you're not experienced, you're going to lose money in these type of patterns. But I want to show you today. Uh, which you can do using support and resistances on a large time frame in order to find some small uh, day trading opportunities. So, so that's the setup was price coming into resistance using previous highs as uh, starting points. And then what I saw is here it started to wobble uh, at the top. And when you go on a smaller time frame, uh, you see here these. Um, these highs and lows that are forming a uh, sort of a five wave pattern and uh, and this is a distribution it's a typical distribution pattern and from there you can if you don't have like a uh, fancy indicators and software that tells you when to buy and sell then you can use simply the um, the channel that it sort of creates and often it's like a uh, it's like a wedge a rising wedge or something like that and these are very um, are, are very important reversal patterns and uh, once you have your breakout uh, then you can start selling so let's uh, analyze this a little bit more on the on the smaller time frame so what we're seeing here is the uh, the basically the four waves of that distribution and price is not able to stay on on the higher than the previous high over here for a long time right away it gets rejected and if you analyze the uh, support and resistances here you can tell that the price was making lower lows uh, before it broke that um, 
that third uh, wave of here on the downside and that was basically your uh, your selling point from the moment you see a lower low uh, a lower high and a lower low then if price reaches that again after a distribution phase then that's you can use that as an opportunity to sell if you don't have any uh, trading systems luckily i, I have a, such a trading system so i'm going to show you what i saw on my charts so if we come over here um, this is gold and this is where i took my trade but um i think it's important to uh, understand that gold and silver are very closely related and i wasn't seeing that uh, when i was looking at the gold chart i wasn't seeing that support and resistance that clear triangle if you look at it it's a bit more uh, choppy uh, you look at these uh, highs and lows here and uh, what it looked like is that as if price had uh, reached as had penetrated that uh, that pattern here on gold but not on silver and um, i always do uh, interrelated uh, analysis enter market analysis and um, and that got my attention because why was silver not able to penetrate but gold was and gold has been on a bull run for a little bit longer and uh and I think that uh, all the insecurities that are happening in the world right now are uh, the main driver uh, for gold. So anyways, I saw this and uh, I saw that on silver, uh, the um, we had that uh, distribution pattern and that, that came into the resistance uh, over here. And, um, and my, my system gave me a signal on gold first. So that's why I took the, uh, the signal over here. So right there, that was the signal that I took. I was looking at this here, price broke that and um, I was expecting price to come back and test that uh, support here. Um, let me just uh, zoom that a bit so price broke out from the weekly uh, last week's uh, high and then started the uh, distribution phase and I was expecting price to come back and test that uh, newly found support but instead it went right through it and um, and then my uh, out was the uh, zero 08 here uh, it's probably going to go further because this is very very weak but I succeeded in um, not only exiting my long uh, that I was uh, leveraged on, but um, also re reversed. So, so whatever losses I will take when the market opens in uh, in ten minutes, um, stocks, silver stocks should tank, um, and uh, whatever losses I can, I'm gonna take from that, then are gonna be buffered a little bit with that trade that I just took in the. Um, in the uh, after hours market so so that's basically it you know i wanted to show you the uh that you can use the wyckoff trading method in day trading and you can use it to manage your positions and and just find the uh, opportunities to get out before the uh the crowd comes in and we're monday morning the market is not even open it opens in in, in 10 minutes and you can you can find these opportunities and I'm, I'm already out like like the market hasn't even opened for the, the vast majority of people and as a um, as a trader you can find opportunities like this to make some quick bucks and and just get out of your trade quickly this i could have ran a bit longer but um but i made a lot of money in very very little time and to me that was enough you know if ever um, if ever i see if we go back on trading view over here if ever i see that the uh, price uh, breaks down that uh, support over here uh, then i'll reconsider my my stocks positions but right now it could just uh, do this and start going a bit sideways and come back to test this and then bounce back so it's uh, everything can happen from here but what i know is that if this high is reached again then most likely it is the start of the uh, bull run but it doesn't exclude the fact that it might go lower uh, from here uh, either to test that support or to break it altogether and um 
and that could bring some more opportunities. So, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you an example of a Wyckoff uh, trading pattern um, in the distribution phase and how you can use setups using the four hour chart and daily charts um, as supports and resistances for uh, to trade these bounces and confirm that with the Wyckoff uh, method. So I hope that was uh, helpful. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.